Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Windows 11 has an effect called marker, which according to Microsoft, um, if we have a look at this window, I'm moving around on my desktop. Um, as you can see in the, um, the title bar at the top of the window, as I move uh, the, the window around, it takes on the color to some extent of the desktop wallpaper um, that's beneath it and underneath it. Now, according to Microsoft, Marker is an opaque dynamic material that incorporates theme and desktop wallpaper to paint the background of long-lived windows such as apps and settings, as we can see in this example. Now, in regards to the Marker effect um, in Windows 11, um, I did post a video earlier on this month showing you how you could actually enable Windows 11's Marker effect in the stable version of Microsoft Edge. Um, because um, the marker material is not available by default uh, in Edge currently. And I'll leave a link down below to that video if you would find that useful and of interest. Now, um, just to let you know, um, in regards to uh, the marker effect uh, in Microsoft Edge, it seems that Microsoft now is once again reintroducing it by default. And this is now available uh, in Edge Canary, um, which is a preview version, and this has rolled out with one of the latest updates to Edge Canary version 115, where the marker effect has now been enabled by default uh, in Edge Canary. So once again, maybe a indication that um, it could be um, become reintroduced and be reintroduced once again into uh, the Microsoft Edge web browser for desktop. Now, just to demonstrate, uh, if you are interested, um, I always suggest though, if you want to have a look how marker works. Uh, always just change um, your browser or your windows to a light theme because you'll see it a lot better. Now there we can see at the top here in the tab strip, if I drag Edge Canary around now, you can see how that actually changes uh, to pick up that tinge from the desktop wallpaper as I move it around over the different colors. So there we go. That's just another example. And just to show you one more time, if I just change the background and there we go, you can see it takes on the effect of that gray color for the clouds at the top. And as I move it down, it takes on more of a brown look to match the rock interface below it. So that's just an example. And as mentioned, um, it seems now that this effect has been enabled by default in the latest Edge Canary build. But obviously, I will follow this one closely. And um, if I get any more information, if this is now becoming a feature once again in Edge, I will post and let you know accordingly. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.